Good morning, Purpose Kids. Happy Sunday. Sunday. I'm Angel. I'm Brody. I'm Abram. In the comments, we want you to tell us your name and tell us what's your favorite Easter candy. We hope that y'all had a great Easter. I know we're still eating a lot of Easter candy at our house, but we're so excited that Jesus is alive. But have you ever wondered what happened after Jesus rose from the dead? It's incredible, and we're going to tell you all about it today. If you're ready to have fun, we want you to say, ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. ready, 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 ready. ready. In Matthew 28, oh, Mary and the other Mary were the first people to see Jesus after he rises from the dead. Wow. Jesus tells them to go tell the disciples to go to Galilee, and they will see Jesus there. When the disciples saw Jesus, they worshipped him. I love that. I love that. Jesus had something very, very, very important to say. And I love when people tell me something that is very, very, very important. On the count of three, we want you to say very, very, very important. One, two, three. Very, very, very important. What else happened? Tell us more. Jesus told the disciples, go. Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's right. Jesus also said that he wanted the disciples and all of us to teach everyone about Jesus. That's so good. And that is the Great Commission. I love that. The last thing that Jesus said that was very, very, very important is that he's always with you. He loves you and he's always with you. So today we have another illustration. We think it's the coolest one yet, but every time we think it's the best one. So this is really the best one. So we have a white plate and we're going to pour something into the plate. Does anybody know what this is? White milk. milk. It is. We're going to pour some milk into the plate. There we go. So, so far we just have a white plate and white milk. And this just represents, it's just kind of plain, right? This represents the world before Jesus. Like if the world hadn't heard about Jesus or before the gospel, this is kind of what it would look like. But the boys are gonna help me to add a little bit of color. We're gonna add our favorite colors in. Good job, boys, there we go. Okay, and now we're gonna start to spread the colors around. So this is kind of like if we were starting to spread the gospel. So we're gonna start to spread the gospel all around the world. Isn't it amazing? It's so amazing, but we need a little bit of help, right? It's like we can't do it all on our own. We need a little bit of help. And I love that the Holy Spirit is the one that helps us. We can make an even greater impact with the help of the Holy Spirit. And it's just like we learned last week that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And that's the Holy Spirit. So that's the help that we need. Whoa. Whoa. Isn't that cool? I love it. So the Holy Spirit is with us, lives inside of us, and can help us to spread the gospel. Because did you guys know there's a lot of people that still haven't heard about Jesus? And did you know that you can help tell others about Jesus? We can all tell others about Jesus by the way that we love them or by being kind to other people or just telling them how great Jesus is. So today we have another verse that we wanna teach you and it is the Great Commission, Commission, which is in Matthew 28 in verse 19. Can you guys say Great Commission? Great Commission. Good job. So are y'all ready to learn our verse today? Yeah. yeah. Let's try it out. It's Matthew 28, 19. Go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Great job, Purpose Kids. We're gonna try it together all again. Are y'all ready? Yeah. It's Matthew 28, 19. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Great job, Purpose Kids. Well, we're so excited. You did such a good job. This week, we want you to read Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20 with your families. And remember, Matthew 28, 19. 
Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Great job today, Purpose Kids. We want to pray for you and your families this morning. Y'all ready to pray, boys? Yeah. Father, we just thank you so much for all of our kids, God. I pray that you would be with them this week that you would bless them, God, that you would love on them and their families, that they would have a fun week, that you would keep them safe and healthy and help us to grow in your love. Help us to tell others about you. We love you so much in Jesus' name, amen. amen. We had so much fun together today. We love you, Purpose Kids, and we can't wait to see you right back here next Sunday. Bye.